you may be considering the use of in vitro fertilization. We want to ensure that you have all the information you need, so this video will give you a brief overview of what to expect during your treatment. In vitro fertilization is a series of procedures that will help you get pregnant. Follow me to learn more. Once you've consulted with your fertility doctor, the preparatory step begins when you contact the clinic on the first day of your period. The nurse will go over medications, consent forms, prescriptions, and answer your questions. Some patients may start hormonal stimulation, called priming, during this month. Assisted reproduction has five main steps. Ovarian stimulation, egg retrieval, fertilization, genetic testing, and embryo transfer. Let's take a closer look. From day three of the second month, You'll take medications for approximately 8 to 12 days to grow your eggs. During that time, you will come to the clinic to monitor your body's response to the medication. Once ovarian stimulation has allowed for the appropriate number of eggs to develop, the eggs can be retrieved. You'll return to the clinic for the egg retrieval, and you'll be given intravenous medication to minimize pain during the procedure. The eggs are retrieved with a needle in the vagina that is passed into the ovaries. During this process, there is a small risk of bleeding, infection, and injury to other structures. The extracted eggs and a fresh or frozen sperm from the partner or donor are then taken to the embryology lab to be fertilized. There are two main types of fertilization, in vitro fertilization, IVF, and intracytoplasmic sperm injection, ICSI. IVF combines both eggs and sperm into a dish. If your doctor is concerned about the quality of the sperm sample, ICSI is an additional process that directly injects the sperm into the egg. The embryology lab will grow the fertilized eggs, which are called embryos, for three to six days. Development is measured at certain time points, and the results are shared on the patient portal. Of the retrieved eggs, about 80% will be mature, and about 80% of these mature eggs will be fertilized. About 50% of these fertilized eggs will develop into usable embryos. At this stage, genetic testing is an option to look for chromosomal abnormalities. Depending on your medical or family history, you may be encouraged or choose to undergo these tests. The embryos will be frozen while waiting for the results. If genetic testing is not done, embryos are chosen based on their growth and development. Once chosen, they are ready to be inserted into the uterus. The embryo is placed in a catheter, which is inserted into the uterus with ultrasound guidance. 10 to 12 days later, you'll have a pregnancy test to see if the procedure was successful. There are certain risks to keep in mind during the assisted reproduction process. Medications can cause a variety of side effects. The most significant risk is ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome, where ovaries produce more eggs than expected. Fluid from enlarged ovaries can leak into the abdomen and lungs causing discomfort. We can remedy the symptoms by draining excess fluid from the ovaries and monitoring patients closely. Egg retrieval can still be performed, but embryo transfer will be delayed.
potential complications such as ectopic pregnancy or miscarriage can occur after an IVF pregnancy. Assisted reproduction may increase the chance of birth defects and multiple pregnancies. We understand that assisted reproduction can be emotionally and physically difficult. Your physician and nurses will discuss the specific steps and treatments recommended for your situation and can address any questions or concerns you may have.